What's up, guys? Welcome to Goose Lightning Reactions. We're here for Drifters episode 8, I think? No, 7. We're on episode 7. Here we go. What timer? Oh, it's gotta be it. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. 3, 2, 1. There we go. A real test is coming. Sick ya. So glossy. I don't think anyone actually answered my question about Jill Dere and John. Like, why would they're not actually related in any way? And why would they be together if they are? I would think they'd be on opposite sides. You better get out of there. Oh. Was that John? Oh no, it's the other guy. Okay. Burned at the stake. I actually really want them to actually go head to head. We've seen them annihilate other people, but... Oh, here we go! Oh! He not scared at all! Oh, man. Alrighty. I don't know what I, I, it, was this episode out late this week too. This and what was the other one? Bungo Stray Dogs. I feel like they came out late. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, for those of you that are new to the channel, um, or just don't watch my drifters' reactions usually, this show. Is very copyright prone. Uh, in fact, channels have been shut down because of showing any even subtitles. So that's why we're going with the timers. If you have any favorite live reactors that are doing it with video, may want to warn them. Just saying. Just saying. Na na na. This song is pretty catchy, actually. It's not in my favorite of the favorite, but it's definitely catchy. Mm. Alright. Chaos Diver. The hell does that mean? Definitely need the Yumi's, man. Arrows are the best to destroy cavalry, really. I didn't know that. This guy. Did we name him already? Some badass. He's got a up, upside down cross. Oh, that's Jill Ray, right? Pfft, that's some intense power. The oh, the red eye thing. Doesn't seem too scared though. I don't know who that is. Ha! 
How will he deal with this? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Damn! Him dodging that stuff, that's pretty impressive. But he can't keep... She can... I don't know if there's a limit to her flames. He's gonna probably come right at you. He's not scared. He's the type that runs straight into... Oh. 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 Lucky. Lucky. She's scared. She's definitely scared. Look at that. That's a cool ass effect with the eye. What was he playing? Was he playing going straight in? Really, that's it. Well, that's lucky. I mean, that's perfect for that situation. Is that Moxie, my guy, the Grandmaster? Oh no, he's just one of the guys, right? She gets embarrassed by everything. That's a good that's a good saying right there. Is he talking about John? Yeah. The feudal lords. <laughs> Fearless. So he's going to incorporate that into his plan? He's making it seem like this is going to be cake. Now, is that a bluff or what? Like, not a bluff, but is he just super confident in his own abilities or what? Mm. Not deterred in any way. They seem so normal compared to these people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're monsters. I don't know about matching, maybe skirting and... Yeah, look at that. Like, this is just insane what they're capable of doing. Yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> Y'all has the evil smile. And he's... This is the guy that they they know each other. What are you going to do? Nice and close so he can't use a spear very well. What happened? A normal man would be dead, huh? It sounds like he's like speaking in like scripture. My cavalry. Let's see what you can do, man. Best against the cavalry. Okay.
There's not that many. Do you use traps? I mean, it's an ambush. You secure a high spot, of course, yeah, but on a level ground, yeah. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Overboard! What are you doing, man? Yeah, I still don't know what they're going to do. Which is great, but uh, I'm at a loss. Literally none of the drifters we have seen seem like this crazy powerful. They seem smart? Or freaking, what am I trying to say, um... Courageous, enthusiastic. Okay. She's at standby. Ah, oh, she throws out knives to to dictate where the flames are going. Sealed him in. He's got his back to the wall. You gonna kick off? What's the second one for? He's gonna launch him with like a Yeah 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 that's what <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Wow He was only in the flames for an instant mm. Yeah I was gonna say He's leaning against it Damn smart smart as hell His single appeared That's still insane. <laughs> what? Put him out. Ah. Damn, their eyes are creepy as hell, man. This is cool. I, I hope they do this for all of them. That's what she... She is obviously the leader. 
Ah, but it's hard to say because the Dark King. Well, it's a girl. Oh, what? Yeah, you just realized. Damn. Wow. Come on now. Come on now. Christ. Did you just hud? Was that a headbutt? Damn globs. <laughs> so he's not going to take her head. Damn. Honor and all. I want him to win alone, though. Just like Toyo. Toya Toya Hisa Toya something. Ooh, damn the agility here. Undeterred. There must be a way. Burn him from... Ugh. At least blinded? He's gonna... He's gonna keep walking. You don't want to get chained. Ooh. It doesn't seem like it's actually... Who is Benke? <laughs> Benke. I have a second monitor over here. Japanese warrior monk served Yoshimitsu. Oh, hello. Resentment. Damn, did they go all the way from... <laughs> He's not flinching! He's still standing. Or... No. <laughs> oh, man. The dragon chased him this far? How did they get in front of them? Like, how did John and Jill today outrun the wagon dudes? He's still alive. Like, how the hell? He still got that steely resolve in his eyes. Let's see your story, man. No? I looked it up last time, but I'd like to see it. A dragon. There we go.
That he loved John. That's what I thought it was, right? Get my... Oh! And that's why he was killing and raping kids. Bon Voyage. Interesting subtitles. Um, but that doesn't explain why he had so much vitality. Like, John having fire at her disposal was absolutely, like, it, like, it was fitting. <laughs> it, well, is there any... Okay, I don't know. He is the Grandmaster. Alright, why are you looking so sinister? Is it ending? Is that what the music is? Because this seems really short. Abe no Haruya Kira. What was his name? Um, I just watched the Gintama episode and there was a guy named Abe no something. Some of, one of my subscribers also commented that I should remember the guy from Gintama's name for this Drifters episode. Abe no Sami is part of the clan of Omyoji. Yeah, so this guy is part of that clan of the Omyoji. Okay. I thought maybe we'd see uh, Abe no Sami, but it, this, this this guy is part of that same clan. What was his name? Was Abe no... Haru Akira. Abi no Haru. So he's an old Miyoji, which, you know, he would be a magician of sorts. Which makes sense. Alright. Awesome. This was a great, great episode. Not only were the flashbacks good, but the fights themselves were amazing. Um, though, I, I, I still, like I said, I want a, a good explanation for the vitality. Or I want an explanation that there is, like... I also... What am I trying to say? Um, if there is no explanation, I want to know that too. Like, is it just like, all right, they just gave him that? Like, Anastasia, maybe we'll find out later, but why does she have, like, cold? Like, why is she so, so cold? I'm, I'm not familiar. Like I said, I'm not a history nut at all. There are some things that I find really cool. Jean and Gildere, more familiar. Like, Jean, of course, you know of Jean and Crusades and all that, burned, that kind of stuff. But, no specifics. Uh, Jildere I hadn't heard of until Fate. Uh, and I didn't know any specifics besides, like, you know, he's infatuated with John and um, he is a really bad guy. That's it. That's all I knew. He, he, freaking hunting kids and doing terrible deeds. John was, I thought, was basically like a saint. You know, like, like the goddess of victory, basically, or something like that. Uh, and I don't even remember exactly why she was burned at the stake. Like... But I know of her. Now that might surprise some of you. Like, how do you not know John, man? John Dirk. John Dirk. Yeah. Heroine of France. Hundred Years' War. Captured. Inquisitor. Pronounced her innocent. Declared. Oh, wait. On. May 23rd, 1430, she was captured at Compain, Compain by the Burgundian faction. She was allied with the English. She was later handed over to the English and put on trial by the pro-English Bishop of Beauvier-Cochon. 
Wait, that's that's an English bishop, so it wouldn't Pierre Pierre Beauvais Pierre Cochon. C Cochon. I don't even know how to say that. On a variety of charges. After Cochon declared her guilty, she was burned at the stake. Dying at the age of about nineteen. I didn't know she was only nineteen years old. Capture trial. Does this say anything about her being a witch? Asked if she knew she was in God's grace, she answered, If I am not, may God put me there, and if I am, may God so keep me. The question is this, is a scholarly trap. Church doctrine held that no one could be could be certain of being in God's grace. If she had answered yes, then she would have been charged with heresy. If she said no, then she would be she would have confessed her own guilt. Those who were interrogating her were stupefied. So she Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. She completely turned that question on its head. You learn something every day, right? <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.